Stop these worst daily habits that can destroy your kidneys. Fast don't take a risk, but a test to protect your kidneys. An early diagnosis of kidney conditions can save a life. Dear friends, be aware, be alert, protect your kidney and yourself. This disease forced us to change, to talk with people about our challenges and advocate myself. You can't suffer in silence when you need other people's help. You have adopted the mindset that kidney disease doesn't have to stop everything. It's one more thing we integrate into life, so it's not intrusive. The only way to prevent chronic kidney conditions is regular tests and diagnosis. Friends If your kidney function drops below 15% of normal, you are said to have kidney failure. You may have symptoms from the buildup of waste products and extra water in your body. Kidney disease and post-transplant patients can live a joyful, productive, and fulfilling life. Healing is not linear, and at times can be a long process. Be kind to yourself through it all. Mental wellness, self-love, and acceptance is so important. You should know this better, friends, that awareness and prevention can lead to long-term protection. So now get ready to change your cry into a happiness now, because after losing health in this peak condition today, you won't be crying sorrow anymore, but you will feel happy in such problem because you will be going to know the perfect treatment for all this problem after watching our today's video. So do not skip it for a second, just have a look. If you want to hold this problem in a tight way, make it easy in your life, then don't forget to give us your precious subscribe to our this channel before moving to our this video and be prepared for our last points because in the last we'll tell you that how this problem occur to you and how you can keep yourself away from this while you're not facing even any type of problems guys friends now it's a time to take that inspiration and turn it into action here are our some finest resources designed to help you and learn about your stage of kidney disease and support you along your kidney journey. Some people with kidney failure choose not to have dialysis or a transplant, but continue to receive care from their healthcare team, take medicines, and monitor their diet and lifestyle choices. Kidneys are an essential body organ which absorbs minerals and nutrients, act as filters for toxins, and maintain healthy acid to alkaline ratio. However, there are certain habits which can damage them, leading to various ailments in the process like smoking. Smoking poses a significant threat to your kidneys in multiple ways, silently causing problems that can escalate into serious issues later. Let's delve into the key dangers. Smoking damages blood vessels throughout your body, including the narrow ones supplying your kidneys. This restricts blood flow, starving your kidneys of oxygen and essential nutrients for proper function. Imagine your kidneys as a filtration system. Without sufficient clean water flow, they can't function effectively. Furthermore, smoking can harm the delicate filters within your kidneys, allowing protein that should stay in your bloodstream to leak into your urine. This protein leakage signifies early kidney damage and can progressively worsen. Additionally, smoking is a major culprit behind high blood pressure. Chronically, high blood pressure puts immense strain on your kidneys forcing them to overwork to filter your blood. This can cause further damage and accelerate the decline of kidney function. If you have diabetes, smoking delivers a double blow to your kidneys. Not only does it directly damage them, but it also worsens diabetic kidney disease, the most common cause of kidney failure in diabetics. To make matters worse, smoking may increase your risk of developing kidney stones. The toxins in cigarette smoke can alter the composition of your urine, making it more likely for crystals to form and clump together into stones. Finally, smoking accelerates the natural aging process of your kidneys. This means they lose function at a faster rate, increasing your risk of chronic kidney disease, CKD, and even kidney failure. Not urinating enough. This is another habit which is significantly bad for kidney health. If you don't urinate enough, the body and the kidneys retain all the toxins meant to be flushed out. 
Over time, this could lead to the formation of lifestyle changes to keep kidney stones away that are quite painful. Also, it could result in developing of urinary incontinence, a condition which leads to leaking urine during coughing or sneezing. Not drinking enough water. Staying hydrated is crucial for your kidney's health. When you don't drink enough fluids, dehydration disrupts your kidney's delicate balancing act. Imagine your kidneys as a filtration system for your blood. They use water and electrolytes to remove waste products and toxins. Dehydration reduces the amount of water in circulation, making it harder for the kidneys to dilute and flush out this waste. These waste products can build up and irritate the kidneys over time. Not only that, dehydration also reduces blood flow to the kidneys, hindering their ability to function efficiently. Think of it like water pressure in a filtration system. Without adequate pressure, the filters get clogged and strained, compromising their cleaning ability. Dehydration concentrates urine as well, creating a prime environment for minerals and salts to crystallize and form kidney stones. These stones can be incredibly painful and even block the kidneys, causing further damage if left untreated. Finally, Dehydration reduces how often you urinate, allowing bacteria to linger in the urinary tract and increasing the risk of infections. If left untreated, these urinary tract infections, UTIs, can travel up to the kidneys and cause serious complications. In short, staying hydrated is essential for keeping your kidneys healthy and functioning properly. Consuming too many sweets. It's hard to resist the temptation for sweets, but eating too many of them too often can damage your kidneys. As per a study, consuming a lot of sweets could lead to a rise in the levels of uric acid, leading to cardiorenal diseases in the long run. If you have diabetes, consuming sweets can worsen the problem. Therefore, make sure to consume food that is low on sugar. For packaged foods, read the label before consumption. Too much salt intake. Our kidneys are marvels of filtration, constantly working to remove waste products and excess water to maintain our health. This delicate balancing act relies in part on the proper ratio of sodium, salt, and potassium. However, excessive salt intake disrupts this harmony. When we consume too much salt, it throws off the sodium-potassium balance, hindering the kidney's ability to effectively eliminate water. To compensate, the kidneys retain more water to dilute the sodium, leading to increased blood volume. This extra pressure strains both the kidneys and arteries, potentially resulting in high blood pressure, a major risk factor for kidney disease. Furthermore, the high blood pressure caused by excessive salt can damage the delicate blood vessels within the kidneys, which are crucial for proper filtration and waste removal. When these vessels are damaged, the kidneys become less efficient, allowing waste products to accumulate in the bloodstream and further harm the kidneys. High salt intake also increases the amount of calcium excreted through urine, potentially leading to the formation of painful calcium oxalate kidney stones that can block the urinary tract. While not directly damaging the kidneys themselves, recurring stones can cause further complications if left untreated. For those already battling kidney disease, a high salt diet is especially detrimental. Their compromised kidneys struggle even more under the additional stress of excess salt, potentially accelerating the decline in kidney function. It's important to recognize that the impact of salt on the kidneys can vary depending on individual factors like age, overall health, and genetics. However, reducing salt intake is generally recommended particularly for those at a higher risk of kidney disease. Skipping exercise. Regular exercise not only keeps your body in top shape, but also has a positive impact on your kidneys. Exercise keeps your blood pressure and diabetes in check, and weight loss positively affects renal function. Therefore, make sure to take some time out of your schedule and exercise regularly to maintain healthy body weight. Overusing painkillers. While occasional use of non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen, is generally safe, 
overusing them can be harmful to your kidneys. These medications work by reducing pain and inflammation, but they can also restrict blood flow to the kidneys. This reduced blood flow can damage the filtering units in your kidneys, leading to chronic kidney disease and even kidney failure. People with certain pre-existing conditions, such as high blood pressure, heart disease, or existing kidney issues, are at a higher risk of kidney damage from NSAIDs. Additionally, taking diuretics, being older, or using multiple medications that can affect the kidneys can increase the risk. To minimize risks, follow recommended dosages and don't take NSAIDs for longer than necessary. Talk to your doctor about all medications you take, including over-the-counter options and supplements. They can advise you on the safest pain relievers for your situation. Staying hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids also helps your kidneys function properly. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle through diet, exercise, and weight management can further protect your kidneys. If you have any concerns about kidney damage from NSAD use, consult your doctor. Early detection and treatment of kidney problems can significantly improve outcomes. Not eating right. To keep your kidneys healthy, plan your meals properly. Note that eating healthy always doesn't necessarily mean that you are eating right. If your kidneys are strained, then it's essential to avoid food that is high on phosphorus, such as tomatoes, phosphorus-rich oatmeal, oranges, fish, meat, and colas. Missing out on sleep. A good night's rest is extremely important to your overall well-being and, it turns out, your kidneys. Kidney function is regulated by the sleep-wake cycle which helps coordinate the kidney's workload over 24 hours. Eating too much meat While moderate meat consumption can be a part of a healthy diet, eating too much, especially red meat, can put a strain on your kidneys. The breakdown of animal protein produces acids in your bloodstream, which your kidneys normally filter and eliminate. However, constantly high protein intake can overload this system leading to a condition called metabolic acidosis. This acidic state can weaken bones and muscles while stressing your kidneys in the long run. Meat is also rich in phosphorus, a mineral your kidneys work to regulate. While healthy kidneys can handle excess phosphorus, those with pre-existing kidney disease may see a faster decline in kidney function due to high phosphorus levels. Processed meats add another layer of stress for your kidneys. Sodium, nitrates, and nitrites commonly found in processed meats can increase blood pressure, further taxing your kidneys. It's important to remember that these effects are more concerning for individuals with existing kidney problems. For healthy people, a balanced diet with moderate meat consumption likely won't cause harm. However, if you have any worries about your kidney health, consulting a doctor or registered dietitian is always recommended. They can provide personalized advice on managing your protein intake, especially if you have kidney disease. Here are some general tips for kidney health. Limit red meat. Choose leaner protein sources like fish, poultry, beans, and lentils. Maintain a healthy weight. Manage diabetes and high blood pressure. Drink plenty of water to help your kidneys flush out waste products and avoid smoking. Eating too many foods. High in sugar sugar contributes to obesity, which increases your risk of developing high blood pressure and diabetes, two of the leading causes of kidney disease. In addition to desserts, sugar is often added to foods and drinks that you may not consider sweet. Avoid condiments, breakfast cereals, and white bread, which are all sneaky sources of processed sugar. Pay attention to the ingredients when buying packaged goods to avoid added sugar in your diet. Friends, work with your healthcare team and family to consider your options and choose a treatment that's right for you. Treatment will help you feel better and live longer. The more you know ahead of time about what to expect, the better prepared you may be to make a treatment choice and take charge of your care. You also need to give yourself time to get used to the big changes that will be happening in your life. Kidney failure will change your day-to-day -day activities 
and may change your relationships with friends and family and how you feel. Couple meeting with their healthcare provider. Ask questions and take notes during your healthcare appointments. The more you know about what to expect, the better you'll be able to prepare and take charge of your treatment. What are the symptoms of kidney failure? Symptoms of kidney failure may begin so slowly that you don't notice them right away. Healthy kidneys prevent the buildup of waste and extra fluid in your body and balance the salts and minerals in your blood, such as calcium, phosphorus, sodium, and potassium. Your kidneys also make hormones that help control blood pressure, make red blood cells, and keep your bones strong. Kidney failure means your kidneys no longer work well enough to do these jobs, and as a result, other health problems develop. As your kidney function goes down, you may have swelling, usually in your legs, feet, or ankles. Get headaches, feel itchy, feel tired during the day, and have sleep problems at night. Feel sick to your stomach, lose your sense of taste, not feel hungry, or lose weight. Make little or no urine. Have muscle cramps, weakness, or numbness. Have pain, stiffness, or fluid in your joints. Feel confused, have trouble focusing, or have memory problems. Following your treatment plan can help you avoid or address most of these symptoms. Your treatment plan may include regular dialysis treatments or a kidney transplant, a special eating plan, physical activity, and medicines. Some people with kidney failure choose not to have dialysis or a transplant, but continue to receive care from their healthcare team, take medicines, and monitor their diet and lifestyle choices. Work with your healthcare team and family to consider your options and choose a treatment that's right for you. Treatment will help you feel better and live longer. The more you know ahead of time about what to expect, the better prepared you may be to make a treatment choice and take charge of your care. You also need to give yourself time to get used to the big changes that will be happening in your life. Kidney failure will change your day-to-day -day activities and may change your relationships with friends and family and how you feel. How can you live well with kidney failure? Doing well with kidney failure is a challenge. You will feel better if you stick to your treatment schedule. Review your medicines with your health care provider at every visit and take your medicines as prescribed. Work with a dietitian to develop an eating plan that includes foods you enjoy eating while also helping your health. Stay active. Take a walk or do some other physical activity that you enjoy. Stay in touch with your friends and family. Treatment with dialysis or transplant will help you feel better and live longer. Your healthcare team will work with you to create a treatment plan to address any health problems you have. Your treatment will include steps you can take to maintain your quality of life and activity level. Your eating plan plays an important role. When you have kidney failure, what you eat and drink may help you maintain a healthy balance of salts, minerals, and fluids in your body. Can you be active with kidney failure? Yes. Physical activity is an important part of staying healthy when you have kidney failure. Being active makes your muscles, bones, and heart stronger. Physical activity also makes your blood travel through your body faster so your body gets more oxygen. Your body needs oxygen to use the energy from food. You may find that physical activity can also improve your mood and make you feel better. Talk with your doctor before you start a new exercise routine. Start slowly, with easier activities such as walking at a normal pace or gardening. Work up to harder activities such as walking briskly. Aim to be active on as many days as possible. Will kidney failure affect your sleep? People who have kidney failure may have trouble sleeping. Sleep loss can affect your quality of life, energy level, and mood. Restless leg syndrome, pain, or itching may make it hard for you to sleep. You can take a number of steps to improve your sleep habits. For example, physical activity during the day and a warm bath before bed may help you sleep better at night. Avoid caffeine after lunchtime. Avoid alcoholic drinks before bed. Avoid smoking. Talk with your health care provider if you often feel sleepy during the day or have trouble sleeping at night. Healthcare providers can treat sleep disorders 
such as sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome. Will kidney failure affect your sex life? Kidney failure will affect your emotions, nerves, hormones, and energy levels, all of which may change your sexual relationships. Taking good care of yourself by managing your kidney disease and controlling your blood pressure and blood glucose levels can help prevent some sexual problems, such as erectile dysfunction. Getting counseling may help with some emotional problems, such as anxiety and depression, which can get in the way of having satisfying sex. You may feel shy asking questions about your sex life, but your healthcare team has heard the same questions from other people. Your provider is trained to help you address concerns about your sex life. Can you keep working with kidney failure? Many people with kidney failure continue to work. Kidney Works is a program to help people with kidney disease keep working. The program focuses on Americans with whose kidneys have not yet failed or who are living with a transplant. If you are on dialysis, the information in the Kidney Works paper may also provide tips to help you keep your job. Who will be your healthcare team? You'll have a whole team of trained healthcare providers to help you live well with kidney failure. The following people may be part of your healthcare team a doctor who specializes in kidney health and oversees your treatment, dialysis nurse. A dialysis nurse will monitor your in center dialysis and will see you monthly if you're doing home or peritoneal dialysis. The nurse will make sure you're taking your medicines correctly and help you find ways to lessen the side effects of dialysis. If you do home hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, your dialysis nurse will teach you how to set up your treatment, take care of the equipment, and watch for infections or other problems. Transplant coordinator, a specially trained nurse who will be your point of contact, arrange your appointments, and teach you what to do before and after the transplant. Renal dietitian. A renal dietitian is trained to help people with kidney failure. Your dietitian will help you make choices about what to eat and drink to help your treatment work better, so you'll feel better. Social worker dialysis clinics and transplant centers have a social worker who works with people. Your renal social worker can help you find answers to problems such as keeping a job or changing jobs, getting help paying for treatments, finding services to help with transportation or chores around the house, finding counseling services to deal with family problems, family and friends. Allowing your friends and family to help and sharing news about your kidney disease can make a big difference in how you feel. Studies show that being connected to other people can help your health. A strong support system of family and friends can make it easier to deal with health problems and life changes. Be sure to spend time with friends or keep in touch with them by phone or email. Stay involved in activities that interest you. We hope that you liked our this information greatly and let us remind you that our whole information, including in every videos was finest. And if you want to know all that great information, then quickly subscribe our this channel, like the video and don't forget to share it with your family, friends and loving ones. 10 foods are destroying your kidneys. In today's fast paced life, we eat so much during the day that our kidneys get damaged day by day and we don't even realize it. Mainly in this video we will know which foods cause kidney damage and which compounds are found in large quantities in these foods. Basically kidney gets damaged due to presence of three high compounds, which are sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. So in this video we have divided the foods into three categories which are high sodium foods, high potassium foods, and high phosphorus foods. So let's start with high phosphorus foods. Number one is red meat. Red meat can be a good source of nutrients, but it can also make it harder for your kidneys to do their job. This is especially true if you already have kidney problems. When you digest red meat, your body creates acids. Normally, your kidneys get rid of this extra acid. But if you eat a lot of red meat all the time, your kidneys can get overloaded and stay acidic, which is called metabolic acidosis. To fix this, your kidneys have to work extra hard to get rid of the acid, which can wear them down over time. Red meat is also high in phosphorus, which is important for your bones and other parts of your body. 
Healthy kidneys can handle phosphorus, but if your kidneys are already weak, they may not be able to get rid of extra phosphorus. This can lead to an imbalance of minerals in your blood, which can cause problems with your bones and blood vessels. Red meat cooked at high temperatures can also create something called ages. These can make your body more inflamed and might make your kidneys work worse. Finally, while not directly related to kidney damage, the fat and cholesterol in red meat can increase your risk of heart problems, which are more common in people with weak kidneys. Number 2 is Dairy Products Dairy can be a double-edged sword for your kidneys. It's packed with protein, which is good for your body, but if your kidneys are already weak, they might have trouble keeping up with all the work of processing it. This can lead to a buildup of waste products in your blood, which can be harmful. Dairy is also high in phosphorus, important for bones, but again, weak kidneys might not be able to get rid of it properly. This can mess with your calcium levels and weaken your bones. Likewise, the potassium in dairy, which is usually good for your heart and muscles, can become a problem if your kidneys aren't working well. There's some research suggesting that moderate amounts of dairy, especially low-fat options, might actually be okay and even helpful for your kidneys if they're healthy to begin with. Now we discuss high-potassium food. Number one is beans and lentils. Beans and lentils are great for your heart and a good source of plant-based protein, but they can be tricky if your kidneys aren't working perfectly. Beans and lentils are high in phosphorus, which is important for bones, but kidneys normally filter out extra amounts. If your kidneys are weak from chronic kidney disease, CKD, they can't filter as well. This extra phosphorus can weaken bones, stiffen arteries, and mess with hormones. However, the good news is that the body doesn't absorb as much phosphorus from beans and lentils compared to other foods. Also, how much you need to limit them depends on how bad your CKD is. Beans and lentils also have potassium, another important mineral. But again, people with CKD might need to watch their potassium levels to avoid problems like muscle cramps and heart issues. Beans and lentils aren't bad for your kidneys, but if you have CKD, talk to your doctor or a dietitian. They can help you figure out how much of these healthy foods you can safely eat as part of a kidney-friendly diet. Number 2 is Bananas Bananas are a healthy fruit with lots of potassium, which is good for your body. Normally, your kidneys act like a filter, removing waste products and extra potassium from your blood. This keeps things balanced. However, if your kidneys are already damaged by illness, they can't filter as well. This can lead to a buildup of potassium in your blood, called hyperkalemia. Since bananas are high in potassium, eating too many can make hyperkalemia worse in people with weak kidneys. This can cause serious problems like heart rhythm issues and muscle weakness. In short, bananas are okay for healthy kidneys, but if your kidneys are weak, too much potassium from bananas and other foods can cause problems by messing up your body's electrolyte balance. Number 3 is Papayas Papayas don't seem to harm healthy kidneys and might even offer some benefits. They contain potassium, which is good for us, but can be tricky if your kidneys already have problems. Papaya seeds have something called carpain, which might help clean out toxins in the body, but more science is needed to be sure. Overall, papayas likely won't hurt healthy kidneys. However, if your kidneys are already weak, you might need to limit potassium intake, and that includes papaya. Number 5 is Dried Fruits Dried fruits are a healthy snack full of good stuff, but if you have kidney problems they can be a little tricky. There are two main reasons for this, lots of potassium and concentrated sugar. Our kidneys are like filters, cleaning out waste and keeping our blood balanced with electrolytes, like potassium. Normally, extra potassium gets flushed out in our pee. But if your kidneys aren't working perfectly, getting rid of potassium can be tough. Dried fruits, especially apricots, prunes, and raisins, have a lot of potassium packed in. Eating too much can lead to a buildup of potassium in your blood, which is not good. This condition, called hyperkalemia, can mess with your heart rhythm, weaken your muscles, and even be life-threatening. Another thing to consider is sugar. 
Drying fruits shrinks them up and concentrates the natural sugars they have, like fructose. While our kidneys can handle some fructose, too much can overload them and raise our blood sugar levels. High blood sugar for a long time is bad news for our overall health, and especially for our kidneys. This is why people with existing kidney problems need to be extra careful about keeping their blood sugar under control. Even healthy people should go easy on dried fruits. But if you have kidney disease, a registered dietitian can help you figure out a safe amount to eat based on your specific situation and how well your kidneys are working. Some dried fruits, like cranberries, have less potassium than others. Number sixth is tomatoes and tomato products. Tomatoes are generally good for you. They have vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber. But, there are a couple of things to consider for people with certain kidney problems. One thing is potassium. Potassium is important, but people with chronic kidney disease, CKD, might have trouble getting rid of extra potassium in their blood. This can cause muscle cramps, weakness, or heart problems. For healthy people, the amount of potassium in tomatoes is fine. However, People with CKD might need to eat fewer tomatoes or choose vegetables with less potassium. Another thing is oxalates. These are natural compounds in many plants, and tomatoes have a small amount. In some people, oxalates can team up with calcium and form crystals that lead to kidney stones. The amount in tomatoes is usually not a problem for healthy people. But, if you've had kidney stones before, talk to your doctor about oxalates. Now we discuss about high-sodium foods. Number one is, whole wheat bread and brown rice. Whole wheat bread and brown rice, although generally healthy, can be tricky for people with kidney disease, especially those in moderate to later stages. This is because these whole grains contain more phosphorus and potassium than refined grains like white bread and white rice. Our bodies need phosphorus, but when kidneys aren't working perfectly, they have trouble getting rid of extra phosphorus in the blood. This buildup can weaken bones and cause other health problems. Similarly, while potassium is important too, impaired kidneys might struggle to keep potassium levels in check, leading to muscle weakness and heart issues. The good news is that some whole grains might still be okay for people with kidney problems, depending on how severe the condition is. In early stages, Controlled amounts might be alright. Even though they might not be the most nutritious options overall, white bread, pasta, and rice may be easier for people with kidney disease to handle because they're lower in phosphorus and potassium. Number 2 is Dark Colored Sodas. There are two reasons why dark colored sugary drinks, like colas and some fruit punches, might not be so good for your kidneys. These reasons come down to two main ingredients sugar and a type of acid. Sugary drinks are often sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. When your body breaks down this type of sugar, it can create something called oxalate. Oxalate likes to team up with calcium and other minerals to form hard clumps called kidney stones. High fructose corn syrup can also make your body get rid of more uric acid, another ingredient in some kidney stones. The other culprit in dark-colored sodas is phosphoric acid, which is added to the drink. This acid makes your pee more acidic. Normally, your body does a good job of keeping things balanced, but too much acid from soda can make your kidneys work harder to keep things under control. This acidic environment might also mess with how your body absorbs calcium, which could also be linked to kidney stones. Do you know that apart from high sodium and high potassium foods, there are some foods which can damage your kidneys such as swordfish, which we will now know in detail. Swordfish, while eating swordfish won't directly harm your kidneys, the high amount of mercury it contains can create problems that indirectly affect them. Mercury is a metal that builds up in your body over time. When you eat swordfish, the mercury enters your bloodstream and travels throughout your body. Your kidneys act like a natural filter, removing waste and extra fluids from your blood. However, too much mercury can overload your kidneys and make it hard for them to do their job properly. 
This can lead to a condition called mercury toxicity. In severe cases, mercury toxicity can damage the tiny filters inside your kidneys. This can make it harder for your kidneys to remove waste products effectively, which can lead to a buildup of toxins in your blood. On top of that, when your kidneys are stressed by mercury toxicity, they may not be able to properly balance electrolytes and fluids in your body. This imbalance can put extra strain on your kidneys and contribute to a decline in your overall kidney health. Basically, whenever you feel that your kidneys are getting damaged and you start seeing such symptoms, then you should first consult your doctor and we will tell you three food items with which you can reverse your kidneys and improve the problem of kidney damage. Number one is broccoli. Broccoli is a great source of vitamins and minerals, there's some evidence that it might help slow down chronic kidney disease, especially for some people. Broccoli has something called sulforaphane, which is a powerful fighter against inflammation and protects cells from getting hurt. Inflammation that keeps going is a big deal in making CKD worse. Another thing to know is that people with CKD often need to be careful about how much sodium and phosphorus they eat. Broccoli is good for you because it has lots of vitamins and minerals, but it doesn't have a lot of those two things that people with CKD need to watch. Finally, high blood sugar can make kidney problems even worse. Broccoli might have some things in it that can help keep blood sugar levels in check. Number 2 is Strawberries While strawberries can't heal damaged kidneys, they are a healthy choice for people with kidney problems. This is because strawberries are low in three things that can be hard for kidneys to get rid of, potassium, sodium, and phosphorus. Normally, potassium helps keep blood pressure under control and muscles working properly. But folks with kidney disease might have trouble getting rid of extra potassium in their blood. This extra potassium can lead to muscle weakness, heart trouble, and even be life-threatening. Similarly, too much sodium can raise blood pressure, which can further damage the kidneys. Lastly, phosphorus is good for bones, but again, people with kidney disease may have trouble getting rid of excess amounts. High phosphorus levels can lead to weak bones and heart disease. So, by choosing strawberries, which are low in these troublemaking elements, people with kidney disease can make a healthy dietary choice. Number 3 is pomegranates. Pomegranates are a nutritious fruit that might be good for your kidneys in a few ways, but scientists aren't entirely sure yet. These fruits are packed with antioxidants, which can help fight inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. Remember, inflammation can contribute to many long-term health problems, including kidney disease. Some studies done on animals even suggest that pomegranate juice might help protect the kidneys from damage caused by toxins or high blood pressure. For instance, one study involving rats showed that pomegranate juice lessened inflammation and improved kidney function in rats with toxin-induced kidney damage. However, it's important to remember that these studies were on animals, and more research is needed to see if pomegranates have the same positive effects on people. If you like our video then press the thumbs up button and share the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hello friends, in today's video we will know those 10 habits which can damage your kidneys. Our kidneys are like the body's natural filtration system. They filter waste and excess fluids from the blood, producing urine as a result. Beyond waste elimination, kidneys play a vital role in regulating blood pressure, balancing electrolytes, and promoting the production of red blood cells. Their impact extends beyond their immediate function, affecting the harmony of the entire body. When kidneys face trouble, it's not just a localized issue. Kidney health is closely linked to the well-being of other organs. For instance, kidney disease can lead to cardiovascular problems as the heart has to work harder when the kidneys struggle to maintain proper fluid balance. Furthermore, the relationship between kidneys and bones is undeniable. Kidney disease can cause bone weakness and fractures due to mineral imbalances. Additionally, kidney damage can contribute to anemia, a condition where the body lacks enough healthy red blood cells. This occurs as kidneys play a crucial role in producing erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow. It's clear that maintaining kidney health is pivotal for the entire body's optimal functioning.
Now that we understand the vital role kidneys play in our overall health, let's delve into the top 10 habits that can harm these essential organs. But before we start, I want you to stick around until the end. Habit number 10 is particularly significant and understanding its importance can make a substantial difference in safeguarding your kidney health. Without wasting your time, let's start with habit number one. Abitno. One, poor hydration habits. Adequate water intake is essential for maintaining optimal kidney function. These remarkable organs rely on water to filter waste and toxins from the bloodstream, producing urine as a means of elimination. When we don't drink enough water, our kidneys bear the brunt of dehydration, working overtime to concentrate urine and maintain proper fluid balance. Persistent dehydration can lead to a cascade of problems for the kidneys. As they struggle to perform their filtration duties with limited fluid resources, the risk of kidney stones increases. These painful mineral deposits can obstruct the urinary tract, causing intense discomfort and potentially damaging the kidneys in the process. Moreover, chronic dehydration can contribute to urinary tract infections, UTIs, as the concentrated urine provides a more favorable environment for bacterial growth. To ensure optimal kidney health, it's crucial to maintain proper hydration levels. The general recommendation is to drink at least eight glasses of water per day, but individual needs may vary based on factors such as activity level, climate, and overall health. Listen to your body's thirst cues and make a conscious effort to stay hydrated throughout the day. By prioritizing hydration, you're giving your kidneys the support they need to thrive and safeguarding your overall well-being. Next on our list is a dietary habit that often goes unnoticed but can have profound implications for kidney health, excessive sodium intake. Sodium, a mineral found in many foods, plays a vital role in various bodily functions, including fluid balance and nerve function. However, consuming too much sodium can put undue stress on the kidneys and contribute to a host of health problems. When we consume excess sodium, our kidneys work tirelessly to eliminate the surplus through urine. This increased workload can strain the kidneys over time, leading to reduced efficiency in filtering waste products and maintaining fluid balance. Additionally, high sodium intake is closely linked to hypertension or high blood pressure, a leading cause of kidney disease. Elevated blood pressure can damage the delicate blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to function properly. To protect your kidney health, it's essential to be mindful of your sodium intake and aim to consume it in moderation. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium intake to no more than 2,300 mg per day, with an ideal target of 1,500 mg for most adults. Be sure to check food labels for hidden sources of sodium and opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible. By reducing sodium intake, you're not only supporting your kidneys, but also promoting overall cardiovascular health and well-being. Our third habit, unhealthy eating patterns, can significantly impact kidney health. Diets high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats not only contribute to weight gain and obesity, but also increase the risk of kidney damage. Processed foods often contain high levels of additives and preservatives, which constrain the kidneys as they work to eliminate these substances from the body. Moreover, excessive consumption of sugar and unhealthy fats can lead to insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Additionally, diets high in animal proteins, particularly red and processed meats, have been linked to an increased risk of kidney stones and kidney disease. In contrast, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can promote kidney health by providing essential nutrients and antioxidants. To support your kidney health, strive to adopt a balanced and nutritious diet that emphasizes whole, unprocessed foods. Incorporate plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins into your meals while limiting your intake of processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Our fourth habit, smoking, not only poses grave risks to lung health but also jeopardizes the well-being of our kidneys. Cigarette smoke contains a myriad of harmful chemicals that can wreak havoc on the cardiovascular system, including the delicate blood vessels in the kidneys. Smoking is a known risk factor for the development and progression of kidney disease. It accelerates the aging process of the kidneys and increases the risk of kidney cancer, particularly renal cell carcinoma. 
Furthermore, smoking contributes to hypertension and atherosclerosis, both of which can further compromise kidney function over time. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best things you can do to protect your kidney health and overall well-being. Our fifth habit, excessive alcohol consumption, can take a toll on kidney health and function. While moderate alcohol intake may not pose significant risks for most individuals, excessive or chronic alcohol consumption can have detrimental effects on the kidneys and other organs. Alcohol is a toxin that the kidneys must filter from the bloodstream. When consumed in excess, alcohol can lead to dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and inflammation in the kidneys. Chronic alcohol abuse can also contribute to the development of alcoholic liver disease, which can indirectly harm kidney function due to impaired liver function and systemic inflammation. To protect your kidney health, it's important to consume alcohol in moderation or avoid it altogether if you have underlying kidney issues or are at risk for kidney disease. Our sixth habit, leading a sedentary lifestyle, can contribute to kidney damage over time. Regular physical activity is essential for maintaining overall health, including kidney function. Exercise helps to improve blood flow, lower blood pressure, and manage weight, all of which are beneficial for kidney health. Conversely, a lack of exercise can lead to weight gain, hypertension, and insulin resistance, all of which increase the risk of kidney disease. Our seventh habit involves ignoring underlying medical conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Both of these conditions are significant risk factors for kidney disease. Diabetes can damage the kidney's filtering units over time, leading to diabetic kidney disease or nephropathy. Similarly, high blood pressure can strain the blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their function and increasing the risk of kidney damage. It's crucial to manage and treat these conditions effectively to protect kidney health. Our eighth habit is overusing painkillers, particularly nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen and aspirin. While these medications can provide relief from pain and inflammation when used occasionally and as directed, overuse can harm the kidneys. NSAIDs can reduce blood flow to the kidneys and cause damage with long-term use. It's essential to follow the recommended dosage and consult your doctor if you frequently rely on painkillers to manage pain. Our ninth habit involves not getting enough sleep, which can have adverse effects on kidney health. Sleep is essential for overall health, including kidney function. During sleep, the body repairs and rejuvenates itself, including the kidneys. Not getting enough sleep can lead to imbalances in the body, including hormonal changes that may affect kidney function. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night to support your kidneys and overall well-being. Last but certainly not least, our 10th habit is failing to get regular checkups to monitor kidney health. Regular medical checkups are essential for early detection and treatment of kidney problems. Many kidney diseases are asymptomatic in the early stages, meaning they may not present noticeable symptoms until the condition has progressed significantly. By getting regular checkups and screenings, healthcare providers can assess kidney function through tests such as blood tests, urine tests, and imaging studies. Early detection allows for timely intervention and management of kidney disease, potentially preventing further damage and complications. Thank you for joining us as we explored the top 10 habits that can harm your kidneys. Remember, your kidney health is integral to your overall well-being, so it's crucial to prioritize habits that support their function. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content on health and wellness. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family as raising awareness about kidney health is essential.